Okay, we have an infinity here that we're gonna diagnose. Um, customer complaint. Let's see here. Customer complaint says that there is a uh, vehicle stability control off and that slip light right there. Don't know if you can see it. There's a right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I connect my scanner here. Let's see what we got here. Your rate sensor. Okay. So if you try to clean this your rate sensor, it fails. It will not clear. Oh. No DTC detected. How come we clean it up? Is the light light still there? Oh yeah, the light's still there. Okay, so we try to cycle the key. Okay, code's still there. Go back to the scanner. And the scan is saying read fault code. Code still there. Okay, now here's the plan. We're gonna go to that rate uh, your rate sensor and, and then we're gonna just see what's going on, if it's plug in or not or whatever. Okay? So the your reach sensor is located here in the center castle according to the formation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this panel. Now, to remove this panel, you have to remove the um, those little uh, tabs here. They look like this. So you pop those off, of course, on both sides. Okay. This side as well. Same thing. You pop these off, take them off, and then there is a screw in there. You just grab this Phillips screwdriver and go from there. Okay? Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I remove this panel just lay it on the side there, there's a couple screws there also there's other screws underneath there that I remove uh, by the way there's an airbag, -like airbag module here if you always wonder where it's located on this specific vehicle 2006 Infiniti M35 okay so when we come here I took the cup holder and a uh, couple screws here, okay, and the uh, the G-force is under there. You can see there's one bolt on it right there, so I'm gonna still, I still have to remove other stuff and then to get to it, okay. Okay. I'm installing the new one. The new one is in place. Okay, this is this is the old one. This one was uh, was one that was giving trouble, but uh, we haven't yet test if uh, if we actually fix the problem. So uh, let's finish. What well, you know what? To be on the safe side. It's better to test right now before we can put the screws back on there. Okay, so 
Uh, let me find the key. Uh, no, where the hell I put the key? Okay, found the key. Okay, so let's see. Moment of the truth. If we fix the problem, okay. okay on. Yay! Victory! We fix the problem. Like no more uh, slip light here, and no more vehicle stability control light. No more vehicle stability control light. Whew. Perfect. That's that's good. Okay. Power off. And now sorry about that, the lighting and the place is just hard to access. Okay. Uh, let me try to reposition here. See if we get the shot. Oops. Okay. All right. That's a fix. Uh, yeah. So this was the problem, and now. Can put the rest of the screws back on here. By the way, when you install the uh, the your sensor, make sure you don't use the. Uh, the impact or stuff like that because it might damage it just use your your normal ratchet and you can take your time that's all I can tell you All right, so let's put them here. Just snap in there. There we go. Huh. There must be something wrong with this. It doesn't it doesn't stick. Okay, well that's it folks. Uh
to, to the back seat here. I'm gonna finish off the installation of this thing. There is a couple of screws that goes under here. I don't know if you can be able to see. The screws that hold the, uh, the air duct. I don't think it was necessary to remove all this, but I never removed one before. I took a chance <laughs> not to screw up. But looks like everything went okay. So the rest is just straightforward. You put those uh, side screws on both sides, of course. And then finally, what you have to do is put this little guy back on. Very important not to forget this. So they just slap on there. Just snap. as well. So this guy here just okay final check. The light comes on and it goes up goes out. Alright, so the vehicle is fixed the customer will be happy. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you so much.